excellent in the final series, although, again, the decision to kick to a congested oh, area well. on the square. Did really well. Going through nicely was uh, Dylan McNeil. Now, there's a whistle after he free kicked kick. it. He was pushing the back, so it'll come back. McNeil will get the free kick, and he has the option to kick it goal from right on the 50. And McNeil being a very good player all year for the Bushies, but also for New South Wales ACT. He uh, lives just over the border there at Aubrey, mm -hmm. in, the, in the Lavington Aubrey area, and... Uh, Played on ball for New South Wales ACT Rams. Just a 17-year-old, but he, he gets to draft camp, so he's there next week. One of uh, about 10 in the game that uh, are in the 75 heading up to the IAS uh, to be scrutinised from Tuesday onwards. Well, he fancies himself from just on the 50. McNeil gives it everything, but doesn't quite get the distance he needs. Right to the pocket, and a disciplined punch over the line by Gartner, and it'll be Gillies to bring the ball back in for the Stingrays. Then a wing there. Finds his man, June again, to half forward now. Over the back, the numbers here. Oh, beautiful the Dale Thomas look alike. Look at him on the left foot, right. Couldn't finish. To right side, and uh, he's also got some skill up in the air too. Can take those contested marks. Again, a guy around the six foot mark. They're away again here. Uh, broadcast on Fox Sports. For the first time this afternoon, the Murray Bush Rangers have hit the front, and it's uh, the still side bottom shove at the moment as they go inside or towards their 50. My hand, I'll get a chain of handballs here, is Rockliffe this time. Finals conditions. 32 goals for the season now, right? Second for the Bush Rangers behind Rockliffe. And they've kicked the last three goals here, and they're starting to really get some ascendancies. It comes out to... You're away with hands, this is right. Quick kick into the forward line, but there's numbers back here for Danny Nong. Attacking the ball hard, but overrunning it, disappointingly. Immediately the margin back to what it was at quarter time, 21 points. Clark went without it. McNeil didn't, throws it on the boot quickly. The um, Stevie J, of course, uh, one of the great stars. Here they go the again. Cats. They're away again. This is Mangan. Gets it to the goal square. Here he is again, Rockcliffe. He's done it again. Oh. Oh. Four for the afternoon, and they keep winning the clearances. It's been side bottom on McNeil a couple of times. Sinkovic under there for the Sting race. So too quick. Oh, it's 198 centimetres. Shows he's got some. He's playing on a wing. I'll be side. Scully with 15 disposals already. Averages 28 in the seven games that he's played. Touches the ball more than anyone else out there. Finals time. Well, normally calling call the cannons at this time of the year, but yeah. not a great year this year, the cannons, unusually. Now the Sin Squid didn't quite go hard enough. All around the ground and then uh, taking that market forward. Can the Stingrays keep this momentum going? They've got the margin back to 28 points with the last two. Check his numbers in a minute. Up to 14 there, Pickers. This is little McNeil. He can look inside. Go back to Shane if he wants. He'll have to be forced to kick down the line now. He does. Bring up there for Zebel. Takes a strong mark. Bushies now. They've just have done it beautifully all day. They've been able to work it out of the fence. This is McNeil. Got busy in the third quarter. That's a 50 metre penalty. Nothing going right for Danny Knott. They need to find something in this last quarter. They can't afford to get blown away here by 15 or 20 goals because it really it ruins your good year. They've had a good season. Yeah. And to get town up in the grand final. You know, if they can get it back to five or six goals, well, they're probably not the, you know, the second best team anyway, but at least they haven't been. You could hardly say it'd be a shy and retiring type. You wouldn't think. <laughs> you wouldn't think so. lad. Rockcliffe now. We've got so much confidence in each other at the moment. Here he is again. Big Hamilton. Out. And off they go. They're running hard and they've got support. Dureya again got it from McNeil. Going back Milne. McNeil. Off a step. Around the corner. Rockcliffe kick to Murray it's going to go to McNeil who's just he's going to run this game out and uh, get lots of possessions his last quarter he's up to 21 inside 50 Bastanak first back for lead then because he saw it was side bottom yep he was entitled to have a shot then right? yeah yeah Dylan McNeil is just uh, getting disposals at will at the moment back to Brown oh Ben Johnson oh, you're right he's a bit taller than Ben here's McNeil some hard running from him in this last term kick around the corner Oh, it's a player down. Tiller. He made prepared to give the bloke that runs past. Tried it there, but unfortunately yeah. they, it didn't come off for them. Still. Steal it. McNeil, quick hands. Martin Yellow. Can get another shot. That's a lovely kick in. It's a wonderful kick in. Ooh. Oh, and McNeil stood his ground beautifully. Good, fair attack on the footy. Now, I'm pretty sure if you look at Andrews, was going for the footy. But you're going to have a headache, young lad very courageous but it was a wonderful kick in it's been good McNeil there's no point getting involved here boys no he went back he just had no awareness he was coming but that was he was going for the ball let's get on with it boys get on with it 